Hey guys, welcome to Performance Unlimited. My name's Steve. I'm one of the owners here. Uh, we're going to start a new episode of, uh, on videos of doing engine assembly and a little bit of tech work along as we as we go here. Um, what I'm happy to be working on today is a 7.3 liter Godzilla motor. Uh, this happens to be one of our 625 horsepower models. Uh, this thing's going to be featuring some nice goodies. We're going to be doing the Holly oil system, F100 style oil pan. We're going to be doing their, uh, their uh, high mount front runner kit. It's going to have a uh, custom ground hydraulic roller camshaft in here with some modified lifters, uh, some aluminum cylinder heads with some modifications to them, a BTR intake manifold, and then we're going to uh, set it off with the Holly ECU and harness. Uh, we're going to take it right along the build process all the way up until a uh, dyno test, just so you can see the process of how we do things here. And I think you guys will uh, get a kick out of the uh, partial assembly you'll see through the videos. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments uh, we're going to be looking at them closely we can try to make recommendations if you guys want to answer uh, us to answer some questions in a video for you uh, shoot it out to us or mess private messages and we'll try to include them in some of the uh, videos that we're going to be doing here all right guys before we get into uh, assembling the uh, front half of the motor uh, oiling system and uh, oil pan just wanted to go over what i've already assembled for you off camera um, this specific package starts out with the brand new 7.3 liter godzilla block we're using the uh, factory 7.3 liter um, crankshaft and connecting rods. Uh, camshaft in this motor is one of our custom grind hydraulic rollers. Uh, we are using the variable cam timing set up on this, in this specific package. We find that it's, uh, we can program it and balance the uh, torque band in the motor, move it around so we can get better gains on the bottom end as well as the top end. Let's take you over. I'm gonna get us get this thing started. I want to get the timing uh, timing cover and oil pump assembly out and get this thing started to be assembled. All right, guys. Now that I got the um, the oil pump rod installed, uh, the gear the, gear, the drive gear, uh, my oil pump's pre lubed, uh, set up and installed. I'm getting ready to install the timing cover. Uh, in the timing cover, you have to uh, install the uh, variable cam timing solenoid uh, to when you're, when you're dealing with the uh, VCT to work. Uh, let me get this installed, and we'll come back here in a few. All right, well, there you guys have it. I got the, the uh, oil pump, uh, the front, uh, front drive oil pump put on installed and the timing cover. All right, guys, I got the uh, Holly F100 pan um, boxes opened up and laid out across the bench here. Uh, this happens to be the uh, oil pan that Holly designed for the F100. Uh, what makes it a little bit different from the uh, standard pan that they offer is this is a little bit shallower and a little bit uh, longer than your, or what I'll call your Mustang tube uh, oil sump system. Uh, so that'll help the f 100 gain a little bit of ground clearance and there's a few other vehicles that I found that I, that I think that'll work better with and we put them on the vehicle for the customer, especially guys that are trying to build low riders, dropping it to the ground and don't necessarily have any uh, steering linkage in the front here to uh, get and interfere with the oil pan. That'll save you about two inches worth of room. Really smart idea. Let me start getting this oil pan assembled. Hey guys, sorry about that. I had to break off to take a uh, tech call. Uh, but I got the uh, oil pan all stowed down before I walked away. Now we're going to sit here and get it all torqued up. Uh, 
On these oil pans, I do them between 15 and 18 inch pounds, and I always do oil pans twice at a minimum. And there you have it. Got the uh, Halaya oil pan oil system and timing cover installed. I'm gonna bring this thing in the back, get uh, an engine stand put on her and flipped over, and then uh, we'll start putting in some lifters and some cylinder heads. Now I'll take you back in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back. I uh, got the motor all flipped over. Uh, I'm getting ready to uh, clean the deck surfaces on this motor. Uh, we'll get the uh, lifters installed. Uh, head, some head gaskets and um, install the cylinder heads. All right, guys, bringing in a little bit closer here. And as you can see now that we got the uh, motor flipped over on the engine stand here, the uh, how shallow that F100 oil pan is from Holly. I think that'll work in uh, several applications uh, that doesn't fit with the uh, Mustang 2 front end. Um, as you can see here, we got the pistons in here with a slight dome in it, um, or inverted dome, I should say. Uh, the lifter valleys are all cleaned up. Rear main seals on it. And uh, we're getting ready to uh, clean the decks up here a little bit, install some lifters, and uh, we'll take you along. Guys, on this uh, build here, we use the OEM head gaskets. Uh, we feel that uh, anything below 700 horsepower, the OEM gaskets are good for. Uh, typically, if a guy's going to order a motor above 700 horsepower, he's usually going to be uh, either boosting or hitting it with nitrous, something like that. And then we'll move over to a uh, nice, solid uh, Kometic gasket. All right, just wanted to give you a little close-up of the uh, cylinder heads before I install them here. I got the deck surfaces all cleaned. Uh, yesterday, we uh, assembled the cylinder heads with the proper spring pressure and springs to match the camshaft. On this one, we're happening to be running the uh, pack springs uh, because of the way the camshaft spec fell out. Um, these things uh, have a, um, what I'll call an apple-shaped cylinder. Uh, the chamber volume on this one, 62.4. It has the uh, 2.17 intake valve and a 1.67 exhaust valve with an eight millimeter stem. I got the uh, cylinder heads all lubed up, getting ready to install them. And uh, once we uh, get them installed, we'll bring it back and we'll go over some valve train options with this motor. Alright guys, not sure if you're aware on the uh, later model motors, a lot of these bolts are torque to yield. Uh, these head bolts are, happen to be a torque to yield design. Uh, Ford spec for these things is uh, a 22 foot pound rotation, a 44 foot pound rotation, a 74 foot pound rotation, and then followed up by two 90 degree turns. Uh, they don't actually give a specific torque value, uh, they give you a guide based on, the, on that design there. So let's get these cylinder heads torqued up. Right, that was our first step of 22, now we're on to the 44. That was the 44 and we're going to move to 74. Now we're going to move on to the degree portion Morning everybody, this is the Godzilla engine that you're watching Stevie uh, work on. I took over yesterday to start getting this thing finished up. We want to get this on the dyno today. But where we're at right now is we got our BTR intake on. I got all the rockers on, the valves were all adjusted. I'm finishing up putting my fuel system on, my fuel rails and everything. We're going to get this thing finished up and hit the dyno. Uh, again, here at Performance Unlimited, we are one of the best Godzilla engine builders out there. Uh, as you know, our trophy truck, we built that engine and you've all seen that trophy truck engine. 
Well, I'll tell you what. Stevie got done finishing tuning it with the builder yesterday. And this builder said to Steve, this is a real professional, professional uh, engine. And again, he said that this thing is, is definitely a winner. We built this thing for a winner. Hopefully the driver can handle it. But again, we build a lot of winning applications for a lot of different people. So again, hey, you got to check us out. We aren't bad. You know what's funny when you get parts in, we've been getting a lot of stuff in that, you know, people don't understand. You know, to be a great builder is one thing, but it's about catching the pieces that come in that are shit. Yeah, great. Right. <laughs> you know, what about Our quality has gone way down. Oh my god. Hey, how many people would have caught that lifter with the clip being out of position the other day? Not many people. Not They're many people. They'd have put it in, fired it up, the clip would have came out, and we'd have a disaster. Well, they would have. Hey, for both of us, this is like, we're, we're excited to build some badass motors, you know? Absolutely. That race motor came out awesome yesterday. And my valve covers? I got them. Free oil. All my free oil. Everything the minute I, uh, see, I have free oil. Oh, where are we? You want to put your regular yeah, one? Want yeah, that's fine. Never hurts. No, no, no. <clears throat> oh, again, I'm gonna uh, finish our uh, basically our side walk yesterday. Oh, cool. Yeah, so tomorrow he's gonna come and sleep. Well, we want uh, eight quarts. Yeah, tighten the closer. Huh? Tighten the closer. Put the down place in your way. And that's why we ordered the other. Well, you want to hold this for me? Yeah. I need to be holding back. Yeah, I just was trying to do it for you. Yeah, I tried it myself the other day and it didn't work either. I know it's kind of hard to uh, buy yourself. The problem is the heat. You know, a tight scenario. You know? Yes. tools for the balancers are nice.
saying these installation tools are nice. Oh, they they make life so <laughs> much better. Guys, we torque that when we get into the dining room, so we have something to hold the uh, hold the crankshaft with. So don't be so, 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 so alarmed that we're not putting the torque wrench on that bolt at this moment. Yep. Finishing up this Godzilla. We leave the AC off because we were able to pick up the motor and put it on the dyno a lot easier. And again, this is going to go hit the dyno right now. Yep. And by the staff. Yeah, sorry going. about the rush finish, guys, on the build, but uh, but they, they, the dyno is open and awaiting a Godzilla motor because that's what we've been dying on the last few days. So uh, Doug figured we'd step in, me and him slap this thing together the rest of the way just to get it out the dyno. All right, guys, this is the video of motor that you've been watching along the line here. Uh, that we that I was assembling last week. Uh, this thing came out absolutely gorgeous. She just made some beautiful power on the dyno. She runs phenomenal. Uh, she just made a little bit over 625 horsepower, and I think right around 620 foot pounds of torque. I think this thing's going to be an absolute monster in that 57 F100 that we're building this for. Uh, if you guys are looking for a Godzilla to swap your ride into, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-267-3940. Let's take every dyno run. All right, Matt. I have your 57 Ford F100 engine here on the dyno. How does VR? 7.3 Godzilla 625. We're going to fire it up, give you a run demo. Yeah. 